I purchased three chickens on sale from Walmart this past winter. They were all about this size and headed straight for the freezer. The first one I cooked in my Toshiba toaster oven using the rotisserie function, which made quite a mess and threw off quite a bit of heat. The second one I cooked in my Lodge Enamel Dutch oven, and it threw off even more heat from both the range oven and the radiant heat from the Dutch oven itself. Despite these two methods producing delicious results, as we approach warmer weather, I needed to look at other ways to cook a whole chicken indoors where the process did not throw off near as much heat. I decided to try using my t rice slash multi-cooker, and after a bit of trial and error, I can say it was a resounding success. The reason I was forced to use a bit of trial and error is because after watching a number of YouTube videos on rice cooker hacks, I could not find settings recommendations for my t 10 in 1 rice and multi-cooker. As a matter of fact, I did not find one video using this same machine. I know there are small appliance options better suited for this, but I do not own any of those options. So I was left to forge ahead and figure it out myself. I began with a whole chicken marinade I've used a number of times but made a few modifications to add more volume. The chicken broth was added after the marinating process once the chicken was in the t cooker. I will show this ingredient list again before signing off today. we got the still trust chicken. It's been uh, washed and trimmed. I've got to uh, trim the fat off of it. Uh, but I've left the trussing on it. And I'm just going to fill this bag with my go-to marinade. Hopefully not spilling it. And that worked pretty good. So that's a Ziploc container. I'll get the air out of it. It's almost submerged in there. I'll just put that whole thing in the fridge just like that for six hours. Around two o'clock I'll flip it over and make sure it's uh, marinated on the other side. And there you can see it. Put it in the multi cooker with all of the marinade. And there we go. After I pushed the power on button, it occurred to me that I should start the chicken bottom side up. So I rotated it to cook with breast down for half an hour. After that, I rotated it breast side up with 15 minutes left in the baking cycle, then changed the setting to browning. Not sure how long to set it for on browning, I started with 15 minutes. After that, it needed a bit more cooking, so I set it up for another 15 minutes on browning. Here you can see the meat separating from the bones on the drumstick. So to anyone who owns a T-Fell 10-in-1 rice and multi-cooker, I can say that to cook a whole chicken under 4 pounds, use the baking setting for 45 minutes and the browning setting for 30 minutes. The results are tender, juicy, and delicious. So that's it for today, and as usual, I hope to see you next time. When the stars won't shine for you, your dreams turn black and blue. On those dark nights you'll be alright, I'll be right there with you. Together we'll see it through. When the stars won't shine for you, your dreams turn black and blue. On those dark nights you'll be alright, I'll be right there with you. Together we'll see it through.